Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Actions menu as a Favorites menu in Reaper. Now in a previous video, I showed you how to change or customize all the menus. Up here, we could change all these menu options and customize their order and what actions show up where. But I got some feedback from users wanted to know if we can create a favorites menu. And unfortunately, we can't add menus to Reaper. What we can do is repurpose the actions menu. As you can see, this menu doesn't show a lot of options, so we could change it to be used as our favorites menu. Let's take a look. If we choose it, it opens up the actions menu. But we could also do this with a keyboard shortcut. Just hit the question mark, and that also opens up the actions menu. So you don't really need a menu to do it. So let's choose in the filter, menu. Right over here, we can customize our menus. Double click it, that opens up all the options to customize our menus. So we'll choose the main actions one. And this is the actions menu we're going to change. And we can start off by changing the title of the menu. Let's change it to my favorites and save it. And now that menu has changed to my favorites. So let's go back to customize menu. And this time we're going to add an action to open this up as we do this. So we can edit our menu by choosing the menu. So we'll right click over here, insert action. We'll choose menu customize. Let's bring it to the top. And because I don't use this option, I'm going to delete it along with the recent actions. Although you can keep this here if you want. And I'm going to rename this one to customize menu. Now this will show up in the menu. So right from here, we can customize our favorites menu. And that'll open up this window. So let's try adding some actions of our own. And of course, you could add your favorites. I'm just going to show you some examples or how I set this up. If we go up here to options, right down over here is an option for pre-fader track metering. This is an option I use quite often, but it could be hard to find in this menu. It's kind of big, so I prefer to put it in this menu. Right click, insert action, let's search pre fader metering. Here's the action we want. Double click it, and now it shows up in here. I'm going to rename it, save it, and not only can we choose it up here to turn it on, we could also see that it's on or off. So if I have it off, I could turn it on this quickly right here. Or see that it's on with the check mark over here. Let's customize some more options. Another option that I find difficult to find under options is right over here, loop points linked to time selection. And when this is on, if we create a time selection, it also creates our loop points. But if we want that off, we can turn it off right here. Then I can create up here my loop points and down here the time selection. So we can separate that by choosing to turn this option on and off. But like with the other option, I find it difficult to find it in this menu. So I'm going to add it to my favorites as I use it quite often. Right click, insert action. We'll search loop points linked, and I'm going to choose toggle loop points linked to time selection. Double click it. Let's put it up here and rename it. And now this option is in here as well. I like to add separators to make it easier to see. So we go up here to the favorites menu. We could see this option and turn it off. To separate them, 
or turn them on to link them. And again, we could see if it's on or off right from here. Another option I prefer in a menu is to choose the size of our grid. Insert action, we'll search grid, and right over here, we can choose the size of our grid. Let's choose whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes, and thirty-second notes. These are the ones I use the most. Select and close it. Now they show up in here. Let's add another separator. Put this down here. And now these are going to show up in our menu. Let's rename them so they're easier to see. And now the size of our grid is going to show up right in this menu. Whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, and so on. And not only can we change it from here, we can see what option we chose. And we could also put these in a submenu. Right click, insert submenu, call it grid, put it up here, put this at the bottom, save it, and now our grid has its own submenu, which is more useful if you have a whole bunch of options. But for this, I don't think I need it. But we could add a label. So remember what these options are for, our grid size. So let's add a few more options. Another option I use a lot, which is actually a custom action. Right click, add action. It's the custom toggle touch mode and trim mode on all the faders. If we edit it, we can see it's going to select all the tracks, toggle between touch and trim read, and unselect all the tracks. So let's add this to our menu. Let's add a separator, let's rename it. And now, if I want to go into touch mode on all my tracks, just go up here to my favorites and choose the to toggle touch mode. And that puts all the tracks in touch mode. We could just grab our faders and start writing automation. And when I'm done, I can go back up here and switch it or toggle it back to trim read. Now all the tracks are back to trim read mode. Let's add one more option. Right click, insert action. And now I'm going to add another custom action. I created one right here that's going to hide and mute my selected tracks. It starts off by muting the tracks, and then it hides them in the track control panel and the mixer. So I'll choose it. Let's move it down here. Let's add another separator. I tend to like these separators as it makes things more clear. Let's rename it. And now, if I want to hide all these tracks, just select them. Or just select the ones I want to hide. Maybe these two. Go to my favorites and hide and mute those tracks. Now they're hidden. And if we go to the track manager, we can see they're muted. We can unmute them, show them in the track control panel and the mixer and they're back. And of course, you can make this anything you want. This is just an example of what this menu can do if you make it your favorites menu. And if you want to put it back to the default, we can just reset it right here. Reset current menu to default. But I would first save it or export it right here. So you can get back to your favorites menu at any point. So that's pretty much it. That's how to use the Actions menu as a Favorites menu in Reaver. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.
Bingo, boys, let's go.